Hi everyone, it's Al with another plumbing video. Today we're going to show you how to change uh, one of these type of ball valves uh, that's bottom fed entry in a low level system. So if you'd like to come around and look at this system, I took the lid off. Um, now, as you can see, this is the type of valve we've got in here and I've got exactly the same sort. Um, the reason being that we can now just crack this nut in the middle and exchange the whole thing over without having to take it right out throughout the system. So if you get a different type um, than what you've got, then you've got to undo the bottom of the system nut undo the whole valve, drain the thing out and take it all out. But if you look at your valve before you go to replace it, you can make sure you get the same one. The only difference I've got with this new one here is that, um, as you can see on this arm, you had a double configuration for the ball cock to go on, whereas this newer one only goes on the left. Well, that's ran the wrong way for me. So, assuming you've turned your water off to your toilet, okay, main stop cock, may even have a valve on the pipe coming up underneath to the system. Flush your toilet, get the water out of it, let it run down. And as you can see, this nut here is the one that we crack. Okay, so all we do, you get a pair of, I like footprints, my favorite tool, and we get that on the nut there and give it a turn. All right, as you can see, it's starting to undo. Once it's undo so far, you can do it with your fingers. Okay, and then just take the whole thing out, as you can see it just pops out and there's our old one now it is possible to repair these pretty easy you can get washers and seatings to fit inside these but you know what I just can't be bothered I'd sooner just replace the whole thing and know that it's going to be uh, a-okay because all these parts are worn um, so uh, in my view anyway it's up to you you can see the corrosion around there as well uh, do you want to leave all that no not really so I would say renew it and it's best policy one thing I want to do is take the old arm off this valve because um, this arm's got a universal spigot uh, and the arm on the, exist on the new one, uh, as you can see, has only got a one-way um, one attachment really. You can't even turn it upside down or whatever. You could, but it makes it too awkward to adjust it underneath. But it's underneath, so it's the wrong way around. So what I'm going to do is take the, the rod off of this one, the actual arm, and uh, put it on our new one. Uh, and then we will have it up the right way again. So that's what we're going to do now. Take that one off. And so take this one off. And put it the other way around. Put this one, sorry, put that one on this, this arm. You'll see what I mean. Take that one off. Take him right away. There he goes. And put this one on. But then this, this rod will be up the right way, you see, with the adjuster hitting there. So we'll change him round. And put that in there. It seems a bit of a mad idea to have come up with arms that only go one way, but there we are. Manufacturers seem to think they know best. I'll tap him in there. We'll tap. He's in. Alright, so now we've got an arm that goes either way. So we'll loosen this adjuster off because it'll be different from this one. And uh, adjust him down a bit. The adjuster will now be up the right way, alright, to turn the water on and off. And there's our adjuster there. You can see it pushing against the piston and shutting the valve off. Alright, just get it roughly where you think and then we'll adjust it when it's in place. Okay, which we'll do now. Okay, and we're going to screw him on now, so in place like so, and as we get him down there, you can see that little knobbly bit there, and uh, you can see that it's got to go in there, it, once it's in there, uh, you're in place, so you can, you're safe enough to tighten it up as soon as it's in there, like so, alright, and then get your grips, get your footprints, and what I do is I put them on and I, I turn it backwards towards it, it doesn't need much of a tighten, alright, just a little nip, that's all it needs, and we're done. And that's about it now, so we turn the water back on and uh, we'll give it a flush and uh, see how we go. It feels roughly about height there now, but we'll turn him on and give him an adjustment. And as you can see now, we can adjust it to that way around. There's our adjuster there. And we'll sort him out in a second. It looks about right because I've left water in it, so that it's somewhere near the right line already. So I'm going to go and turn the water on now. Okay, just adjusting the level there now, you can see. You can turn it and get it the right level. So we'll let him fill up a bit now and get him about right. It's too high at the moment, so we'll adjust him now and see how it goes. Right, well there you are. She's all in. She's just finishing off the last bit of fill there. 
just get her up to level. And there's the line in the system. We can see it there, a water level line. So it's bang on it, that's dead right. So that's it, job finished. And uh, that should be your overflow done. And uh, as I say, if you want to renew the whole thing right through the system because you want to fit a different type of valve to that one, uh, then that's entirely your choice, a bit of a longer job. Uh, but I've just showed you doing a straight swap. And now if you take a note of the one you've got, you can get an exact replacement and save yourself a lot of trouble and time, okay? Uh, and it's obviously, as you can see, bloody easy if you get the right part all right so that's down to you just want to show you that one all right you know where to go all my videos Darren 33 catch you again bye bye